Hey, what's up, y'all? Charles here, Uncle's Lawn Care and Pressure Washing. Hey, so I um, got a house wash we're gonna do right now. Um, so I got this customer by um, flowers. I was just putting on doors from a from a house wash I did after the house wash. Um, there's a roll out there, y'all, that er you'll, you'll hear a lot on YouTube for lawn care and pressure washing. Five and five, five and five, five flowers to the right, five flowers to the left, five flowers in the front, five flowers in the back. So just have flowers with you to um, pass out after you do a customer, if you have time, y'all, because time is money and you have to get to the next customer. So that's what I did with this customer. Um, she, I, I, I put a flower on her um, her door and she, she gave me a call um, last week. And I was actually like um, three months ago, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool, y'all. So hey, flowers work, all right? Anyway, so um, let's go check it out. So I had to, had to remove the car, her vehicles. They were still parked in the parking lot. I did give her um a heads up yesterday a confirmation for the pressure washing service and to move all your um precious things away from the house especially vehicles and um she didn't do that so i rang her doorbell asked her if she could please do it so let's go check it out so she moved her vehicles she said she's not worried about that vehicle right there she don't got the key to it but she's not worried about it if it gets wet so i said i will be careful still ma'am all right because remember y'all you're still responsible if you damage any property. So I'm gonna tape up that um, doorbell right there. All the windows look closed. Another water spigot over there. There's a dirty side right here. I'm gonna get some after pick before and after pictures of this side. Windows closed. We want to get that up there, y'all. All right. Any damages or wear and tear, make sure you get that on the camera, on, on their phone, video or, can, or pictures. There's a dirty side right here. All right. So, um, covered that up. She has like a little garden right here. Tore up a plastic bag and I put it over. Alright y'all, Alright, I got the water hose ran to the spigot. That's 100 feet of water hose. I left 50 feet on the rail. I got 150 feet of pressure washer hose ran out there. Okay, I got the SA set up. I ain't gonna use no um, lemon dancer. That's for fact, I'm just gonna use SH, alright, because I don't wanna like waste it. You put soap in there and you don't use it, it'll, it'll like um, the potency will decrease for the SH. Right, let's throw on the water. All right, got water coming out. Start off the pressure washer. We're gonna put in the pressure washer on. So our fuel's already on. Choke, half throttle. We're getting pressure. I don't get that much pressure yet. See that? The pressure pump is going out. I gotta wait for the pressure to come. There we go, we got pressure now. Always with the windows first. with the um around the light electronic opponent all right so windows are wet we're gonna drop the disc stick in now we're gonna uh, downstream the s8 those are factin Smell the bleach. I'm gonna be real careful with those plants right there. Okay, this other side's already all coming off. I'm not using those for factant. 
this S8, 12.5% S8, downstreaming. Got it from my local dealer. All these I took, these are properly um, filled. I also wet them down with water. And five twists, y'all. This is a two story house. Oh, the other side of the house. Uh, down swimming on fresh side of the water. Five guys of the water, y'all. Rinse out the hose. With the windows real good again. And five twists. Rip. And five twists. Rinse real good, all right. Don't leave that face on here, especially when it gets real hot out. It'll stick to the siding. Rinse real good. Get the windows real good. Make sure you get those pants real good, all right. Before you putting SH SH on, and when they're rinsing the SH off, all right. Over spray could like damage the um the plant. Or bushes. I'm on the last side already. I forgot to, I forgot to take a video of the front. I'm on me rinsing. This is it, y'all. I want to use four and a half gallons of SH for this whole house, two story house. 12%, 12.5% SH. I'm downstream. No surfactant. Alright, so. This is a big difference. All clean up, y'all. The five twists. No lance on the gun. Get the windows real good. Coat also before I rent over here. Get the windows real good, y'all. You want to get no, you want you don't want to keep no SH on there, right? You leave, and then the customer is gonna be like, "Hey, our windows are they look foggy? They got streaks." That SH, y'all, all right? You don't, you don't want to become a window cleaning business, all right? Or well, you could, you could make money still, but you're gonna end up doing window cleaning for free because you didn't rinse them real good. You didn't rinse off the windows real good. All right, so here we go. Property protection room. Cover the door bills. See the car still dirty. I need an overspray on the car. I'm gonna pull that off. Those are scuff marks. Alright, I'll hold road up, water hose road up, pressure washer hose road up. Got my extra 50 footer. Only use one jug of, of um five gallons of SH. So I got another jug right here. I always carry an extra one with me just in case somebody wants me to wash their house next door. And make sure you hit up Mike when the fresh rinse. All right, he'll make you one of these signs for a good deal. Already got a couple of customers with this sign. Now, caution. He has a lot of templates. He'll, 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 he'll um, mix match for you, all right? And he's very, he's very patient with me because I could not went back and forth what I wanted. Mike, the Fresh Rinse. Check him out on YouTube. He has, you guys just point of contact on there. 
and he will make you a sign. But let me go let the um, customer know I'm all done. Another satisfied customer, y'all. She was very happy. Um, after I put everything back on the trailer, took took pictures. Um, I rang her doorbell and um, hello, ma'am. I'm all done with the um, with the house wash service. Oh, she was all happy. Oh, great, thank you. You know, um, I've been waiting. I've been couldn't wait to get this done. You know what? Well, by, by all means, enough, can you please take a look? See if you have any questions. She was very happy and satisfied. You know what I mean? She was very happy, y'all. All it is, y'all, is downstreaming. No pressure to the house. No pressure to the house. Just downstreaming. Keep her distance with your pressure washer. Let the chemical get on the house. Just spray, spray the chemical on the house without pressure, low pressure. Keep her distance. All right. And then let it dwell. Then rinse. But before you rinse, okay, don't take the um the downstream um hose out of the um sh and put in the water first. Don't do that. Okay. Keep the sh downstream hose in the in the, in the sh bucket. Keep the downstream hose in the sh bucket. Go back around to the beginning and check if there's any spots that need to be treated again, because this is why. If you put the s, because you're, you're, the whole purpose of the five gallons of, of water is to rinse off the hose. Okay, you do that. And then you go back around to rinse, you're gonna see spots. Oh my goodness, I gotta put a more SH on there and get like a second treatment. So now you gotta go back, take that downstream hose out of the fresh gun bucket of water, put it back in the what do you call it, in the um the SH bucket, and boom, treat it again. And now you gotta do what? Fill that bucket of water, five gallons of water with five gallons of water again, all right? Because you gotta you know what I mean? Rinse out the holes and everything. So, um, you know, my suggestion is before you, um, after you're done downstreaming all the way around the house, go all the way back around again and make sure you miss it and make sure there's any spots that, that they need to be treated again. All right. Treat those spots. Okay. Let it dwell for a while. Check it out again. Yeah. Okay. It's coming off. Put that downstream hose into the five gallon bucket of water. Rinse the house. At the same time, you're rinsing out your holes and your gun and your, um, your tip. Hey. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope this was very informative to you. If, you're learning, if you wanna learn how to pressure wash downstream, what is downstream, how much SH to use. This is a two story house. I use four and a half gallons of um, SH. Okay, um, hey, anybody could do it, you could do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. At all times, never quit or give up. Hey, God bless. See you on the next video, bye.